Greetings everyone. This past week I had the opportunity to uh, be an instructor at the Preston Middle School STEM Institute. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And uh, I taught an electronics class and a video production class. And I wanted to share with you the uh, demo we did on a laser communicator. I got this idea from Make Magazine. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, give a parts list and a link at the end of the video. And uh, definitely thank them for uh, putting that all together. But a uh, great time was had by all, and uh, I've got hope you enjoyed a laser video. pointer that was taken off of a student at Preston Middle School because we don't allow these here. Uh, this particular laser pointer does a laser. See how I'm doing that? And this thing does a light too, so it just has a light. But we're interested in the laser. So what I'm going to do is take off the back of this. It's going to be a part of our device that we're going to make. And notice in here we've got our little battery cells. Cameraman, did you see those? Okay, everybody see those? I'm gonna pour them out. Notice which ones it. The, the top part is positive, and that was the one that was touching this. And so the negative is touching a spring that's inside the uh, laser pointer. Okay, and that's the inside of the laser pointer. Everybody see the spring in there? No. Yes, no? No. See the spring? No, All right, so I'm gonna take a test lead. Black test lead, that's gonna be negative. And I'm going to go in there and see if I can reach onto that spring. And I've got it. So I've got my negative, And I'm going to use uh, a red lead for positive. And I'm just going to put the positive to the outside of the uh, chassis of the laser pointer. And then I'm going to see if I did this properly. Because I'm going to take a battery pack, which is right here. And I'm just using three. What have I got here? AAA batteries in a battery pack. Okay, so I'm going to hook up the red lead to positive, just with these alligator test leads, and then I'm going to hook up the negative lead. And I just want to test this to see if I've got power to my laser, and I do. Okay, all right, so that's good. Because this is going to be part of our trans uh, of our transmitter, we're going to modulate. We're actually going to modulate that laser beam with sound, and we're going to transmit it to our receiver over here. So I think the next thing that we'll do is uh, we'll make our receiver, and we'll stick it for the time being. We're just going to stick it on the other end of the table, but we want to try to see how far we can go with this thing too. But let's put it over here on the other end of the table and talk a little bit about the receiver part of the whole fold. Start back over here to this end of the table. And uh, how can we do this? Maybe we can do this. I have taken just a regular um, mono jack. That's an eighth inch uh, mono jack. And I've cut the other end of it off. And you can see that in this cable, there is a, the hot lead is white. That's the tip. And then the shield is that copper braid that you see. Okay, so the white on here is going to go to the negative side of our solar cell, and the yellow lead is positive, that'll go to the uh, red side of our solar cell. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just clip this here to negative, and we'll clip this to positive. Kind of rig it like that, hopefully. Uh, that's working just great. And this is uh, just a Radio Shack audio amplifier. And uh, it, it's powered by a 9 volt battery that's inside. And I'm going to I plug this in uh, to the input. And we'll just kind of get this, we'll get that out of the way for the time being. Receiver end is set up and ready to receive. And usually, anytime you're transmitting and receiving, the receive end is a little, little less complicated than the, than the transmit end. But we got our solar cell, and we're going to point the laser beam right at the solar cell, and then the sound on our laser beam is going to go through these wires, and it's going to be amplified by our amplifier. Okay, so now we got to go back over here and let's do some transmit stuff. stuff. To help us out with the transmit end, we need to get something called an audio transformer and that's an audio transformer 
and we get that at Radio Shack. And you notice that it's got some different colored wires because it's doing some different types of things. And uh, by looking at the diagram that comes with the transformer, I know that these leads are 8 ohms, so that's going to carry our audio, and that this side is going to be our power. Okay? And we're going to hook up our uh, battery side. Actually, we're going to hook this in series with our laser pointer. All right, now we also need this is going to be our transmit end same kind of cable as as we have on the other end only this time we're just going to use a, a regular portable radio and we're going to plug it into the earphone jack and then the sound is going to travel through our leads I've got green to negative and yellow is going to go to positive so That'll be positive, and let's do that for negative. Okay, and um, I should probably get some power in this circuit, so I'm going to take my battery lead and put that in here to negative. All right. And um, what I'll do when I want to complete my circuit, I'll just touch it to right here. And uh, it will, should be ready to go. So let's find a radio station. Turn on my radio. Okay, so that's playing, right? All right. A little antenna action, then it hurts. Alright, so there's our radio. Now, we're ready to go. Alright, and when I turn my laser on and I hit my solar cell way over there, we should be able to hear. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we turn. Well, no, let's leave the lights on for just a second. Let's turn our amplifier on, though. Alright, let's see if we got this going. That is pretty cool, isn't it? So there's your laser communicator. Let's, let's try it again. Well, Sam, we'll go cut to Sam. Sam, why would we get better quality if we turn the lights off? We get better quality because the, the laser beam is simply a beam of light shining on the solar cell, which is creating the power to the amplifier. So what's interfering right now? And the lights from the ceiling which are pretty bright, if they sh they're shining on it, they would create a bit of static and excess background noise, which would not be preferable. He's right, in so our because experiment. right now that solar cell is picking up all the ambient light in the room. So, now we're so if we turn off the lights, we'll get a cleaner signal. So, let's try it again. And then I'm going to let some of you try. first.